Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you your daily tarot reading for Friday, December the 11th. And I do want to, of course, take this moment to thank you all uh, and express my appreciation for your likes and comments and subscriptions if you're new to this channel. And um, I meditate on the energy overall for the day before beginning this reading. And the message that came through was standing tall, standing tall. And I feel like it's going to be a very um, fast paced day, but also very reflective at the same time. So let's get started. Let's first pull a message or two from the spell casting uh, oracle deck. What do we have, uh, Spirit, to begin this daily read for December the 11th for Friday? Thank you, Spirit. Alrighty. We have dreams. I feel like uh, for a lot of you who were drawn to this video, including myself, um, are given a lot of messages from your guides, from spirit in general, through your dreams. I can relate. I feel like it is also a day where as you're put into uh, a reflective uh, state of mind, you also are thinking about your dreams that you still have, that you still want to achieve and make a uh, reality. And so it's a day where without meaning to, you sort of will drift off and think about them as well as, you know, thinking about the past. And then we have uh, grieving. And it feels like for a lot of us, we've, I think I've mentioned it in the past readings, for the dailies, we've had to be the queen of swords in our life and cut people, places, and situations out, even or minimalizing their role in our life out of respect for ourselves and our energy and our inner peace. And this, you know, so either cutting them out altogether or establishing some boundaries, if you will. And so it feels like it's a day where as you do reflect and you almost have no choice but to think about it at times, there may be some grieving thrown in the mix. And then we have um, truth. It feels like as you do some reflecting and um, learn some lessons from what you've been through and who you've dealt with, you uh, discover a, a few new truths about certain people or groups of people or situations you were thrown into or wrapped up in. Feels like a day of reflection and revelations, if you will. And then we have answers for the fourth one. And as a lot of these truths are discovered and, and whatnot, as the day goes on, I do feel like you're going to get some answers, some blanks filled in, if you will. <clears throat> Excuse me for, you know, questions you've had about your future and or why certain things happen the way they did or why certain people act the way they do. And it feels like as you realize certain things about yourself and the things you've been through, you kind of start to understand, get some of those answers, some of those blanks filled in about certain situations in your life. Very interesting. Okay, let's continue to do some, sh uh, some shuffling, excuse me, so we can pull those uh, four tarot cards for the day. One shuffle. Second shuffle. All right, Spirit, what do we have to continue this daily read for Friday the 11th of December? I'm just going to pull the last one from the top of the deck. Just straighten these out real quick, excuse me. 
looked up and realized it was a bit out of sorts. Okay. Alrighty, so we're starting off with the Princess of Cups. I feel like you're going to start off the day feeling very peaceful and it's going to be a very abrupt to kind of step into this fast paced kind of day. And I feel like this is a very, it's also a very daydreamy kind of start, very reflective, just like I've been saying. Uh, you start off immediately thinking about the past and thinking about the future and your dreams. I mean, it's side by side with this dream card, um, dreams card. And I feel like it, you do just that. You're thinking about your dreams like I was uh, speaking upon, thinking about what you still want to achieve in your life, those goals you still need to or want to complete, the things you want to check off your bucket list, essentially. But that also comes again side by side with thinking about what you've been through, who you've dealt with, who came, who's gone, jobs you've you've dealt with, or situations you've been wrapped up in once again. And then we're moving on to the Fool card. And I feel like the first half of the day starts to wrap up and you feel a bit more free. It feels like you kind of did your revisiting in the beginning of the day, thought about your dreams, but then you sort of release yourself from that as the first half of the day starts to wrap up. I do feel like it picks back up a bit in the second half of the day, but at this point you're feeling more free, more... For some of you, you kind of want to start fresh or start traveling, doing new things. Feels like that's what you're thinking about at this point in the day. So moving on to the second half of the day, we have the Magician card and second half of the spread. And it feels like at this point in the day, you're in need of a reminder, which you get from the universe and spirit about how possibilities are endless, how important and how um, strategic it is to have a, a strong, um, positive, optimistic mindset because you're going to manifest whatever you're thinking, right? And so in one way, shape or form, your guides and the universe remind you that whatever you do think is going to come into place. So don't be surprised if something negative pops into your head and then you manifest it. It's, it's not only your powers kind of, or your, your skills, if you will, coming into play, but it's also your guides being like, see, just watch your thoughts, be careful, tread carefully. And side by side with this grieving card, and I feel like if you're thinking about somebody who's gone, you know, by your choice or just in general, or a difficult situation, if you grieve too much about it, you're going to end up manifesting them back into your life or that situation back in some way, shape or form. And so it's your guide's way of being like, just be careful. But it does feel like as overall message says, standing tall, as you're reflecting and thinking about the past and grieving and, you know, does feel like a very kind of emotional day at times. Uh, you're being reminded that you're standing tall after all you've been through. Because everybody's been through stuff, right? But I feel like it's just a day where you're reminded that you went through what you went through for a reason, even if it was difficult. To leave you standing taller and prouder and a different version than you would have otherwise. And then the Empress card to finish off the four card spread in the day. And I feel like you get some creative ideas at the end of the day. Maybe some creative solutions to issues uh, within your, your current situation. And I feel like some of these creative ideas are in relation to uh, you wanting to feel more free, wanting to feel more peaceful for some of you, which is now coming through. Some ideas that could help you make more money, 
new forms of income, if you will. But it feels like a very mental day overall. Uh, just, you know, be careful, just be aware of your thoughts and utilize it to, uh, to be more aware of them and maybe have more control over your thoughts moving forward. So with that said and done, I once again more than appreciate all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. And I hope this reading was truly helpful. And I hope you have the most amazing Friday and I'll see you next time. Bye.